Yo, what's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to episode 10 of my Minecraft Xbox 360 Let's Play and the prank wars have officially started yep, they have I think pretty much everyone now except from the old few have either tried to prank someone or been pranked and I got pranked last night it was about 11 o'clock I think I was super tired and I was working on my new chess room in there which is awesome, I'll show you soon you're going to love it um, basically what happened was I was in here I don't want to show you it yet so I'm just like doing this um, I was in here like this and um, I boarded this off because I didn't want anyone to see uh, so I boarded all this off and like I didn't want to get like killed like while working on it so I thought that yeah that's bulletproof plan I would know if anyone comes in and it backfired because I couldn't see what was going on outside and Mr. Era came in destroyed all my glowstone and like built a little um, door thing here like covered up all the light in there same in here got rid of my lava sources um, so I've had to go to the nether get all of that back so basically his plan was just to get loads of creepers and stuff to spawn in my house so they would all blow up so he wants to play that game I can play that game so I might have to use some TNT maybe just maybe Nah, we're not allowed to use TNT, or lava, or fire. But I've got a pretty good plan in mind, using a new dispenser trick. But uh, I'm not going to talk about that now, so let me just put some of this away and then I'll show you what I've been doing in this new room. Um, so basically what I've been doing, I've built this, it's a new sort, new quarter should I say. Um, this will be the, uh, what should we call it, it's like not craft is it craft what would chests furnaces and a potion room come under um i don't know we'll just call it a crafting crafting area yeah okay but all i've done is this and i didn't get any of it on camera and for that i'm really sorry but if you want a tutorial on how i built this like once i've shown it yeah then let me know and i'll definitely do it as soon as possible um but now i'll just show you what how it works i haven't done that side the furnace side will all be done on camera don't worry about that and i've got a really really sick idea on how to um do all this so make sure to stay tuned for that as well but basically you just walk in and then these open i hope yep they open like that a bit laggy but that's just because it's a server i think there's 16 double chests in total very i haven't moved anything yet because and I, I just really needed to build a chess room because if you look, my stuff is like I'm, I'm like, I don't know why I'm like, look, everything's just everywhere I mean, look, it's just not good is it? It's just horrible um, but yeah this is all run off basically a T flip flop so and then you get what you want, you put what you want in there, then you walk out and it closes oh yeah, oh a bit glitchy there but um, I'll show you the redstone now but what this side is going to be a furnace room and then this here is going to lead to a potion room so yeah um, this is all the redstone stuff but I'll go to the T flip flop up first you go down here look how compact this T flip flop is look at that it's like, I think it's like wait two wait one two two wait it's not if you count it as just the actual input no, not not including the input or the output, right? It's literally one by three. Like it, all it is is two pistons, three blocks, and three torches, and two bits of redstone. That is it. But if you include the output, then you obviously the input. Sorry, wait, is it the input or the output? Input. So you step on it, and the input is the signal. I'm guessing, and yeah, and then it output. That's that, and so on, so on. So once it's closed at the minute, so once I step on it. The piston moves across. Can I make a button or anything? Let me go make a button quickly and I'll quickly show you. Like, it'd be easier to explain it then. So. I want to use the wooden buttons, but it'd be, it'd be good to do a prank with actually because you can like shoot an arrow at it from far away. So you would have. You wouldn't. You could prank him, but be from a long distance. And then, so basically, how it works is you watch this not work now. So, when you do that, see how it moves across? It moves across, and then because that's on, 
the redstone signal won't be and then once you move it back turns off and then everything like everything changes see so if you want a tutorial on how to build a T flip flop let me know and I'll do one of them as well um, above these bits of redstone here are the pressure plates leading sorry I had a bit of flipping random Apple update on my computer but yeah the pressure plates then it just goes through goes through there comes out here and then this is all a bit messy I know but I'm gonna like obviously compact it because I need to build the fit um, furnace ones on the other side there but he has the up oh, these are the pistons on the left side if you're looking up and these are the top ones what I've done I've made it so it's like a tick one tick and three ticks one tick three tick one tick three ticks so when you step on the pressure plates it gives that um, good little motion like it it'll be that one then that one if you can see yeah see it it looks much cooler um, basically I've done that for every single one of them so yeah I've done it for all these top ones here and then if you come down here and I've blocked myself off like a noob let me just cut through here right same for down here like repeated there as the signal don't go everywhere so and then again it's like one two what one three one three one three one three and then Oh, that's there because something was going like all redstone bug. Like, if I just put a normal redstone there, and then I'd step on the T flip flop, it wouldn't do anything for some reason. I don't know why, but that's why that's there. Um, this leads to the other side um, of the chest room. So again, it's basically the same routine. Look, it goes one three, one three, one three, all the way across. And this took me about a good. Four, four hours to do because I kept trying to make it as compact as possible but because I was so tired I was like oh my god no way it's just taking forever and I was just like I, I finished it this morning that's why I've still got like all the redstone and that with me but yeah it, it's pretty nice it's like the glowstone there just to add more effect I would like to I've had um, upside down stairs here but Sadly, they're not in the game at the minute, so I just got four blocks. But other than that, that is pretty much mostly I've been working on since last episode, and it has took ages. I know. Uh, oh, okay, right. Uh, I love I love what you can do with item frames. Instead of like writing on signs, now you can actually point to where you want things. Like goes down like that. It leads to here, and it goes across. Same, and then is that open or closed? Okay, now it's closed. Other than that, what I think I'm going to be doing now is my furnace room. I'm gonna like do some myth busters. I think here. Yeah. I want to try a few things. So let's get that, that, that. I need some redstone. <laughs> See what I mean by my chests are like everywhere. Twenty-seven diamonds. Woo! Um. Right, so if we put a piston down, I bet this is all. Ah, oh, see, I still need to light everything up more. Oh, Mike, Michael, Michael, you're so in for it. You are. Right, where did you spawn? Hmm? In my melon farm, by any chance? And I ain't even got any torches. Oh my gosh, you know what? It's got to that drastic measure where I'm going to do this. What's behind there? Okay, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do... Can I go there? Wait, wait a minute. Uh, here? Oh, for God's sake, wait, what is that? So I've got these random holes everywhere. Right, and then... There. Cover that up. And boom! So yeah, now try and spawn in here, you little bum fluffs. Right, um... So basically what I want to try out is because I'm having like different ideas for this and I want to see if I can push This probably is regular knowledge and I'm just stupid but oh well Okay so that does not work I'm dying of hunger So that does not work um, This maybe, oh crap That Oh no what I'm doing, sorry 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 Not that um, I wanted to see if you have a does it give out a redstone signal? I think it does on PC version, but I don't think it does on this one yet. 
Man, do I need to cook something? No, no signal. That sucks. No, I don't want to cook it. No. What else do I want to try and figure out? Um. Basically, also, what I want to do is I want to have this sort of lighting system in here. But if I have a lighting system, then mobs can go, mobs are gonna spawn when I'm not in there, and then when I come out, they're gonna spawn again. My laptop is so doo doo. Oh, I need a new one. Oh, come on, auto save. You always seem to come when I'm doing an episode. You know what? Next time, I'm just gonna sit and wait. Until one auto save comes on, then I'll start the episode straight away. Then, you know, just oh, oh, oh yeah. A question: When I open up a twenty, like say a twenty-five minute long video in a Sony Vegas, why does it go corrupt? Like it goes like green. Like you get, you know, you can see different segments, like different clips, kind of thing. It goes like green, and um, I don't know why. Is it just because I've got poo Sony Vegas? I think it's ten on a. I'm a bit behind, but oh well. I'll probably get a new one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I got to admit that it does look really cool, doesn't it? Wait, is the top one a bit off than the bottom one? Wait, let's. I don't think so. Okay, the top one I think is a bit slower. No, it looks alright then. Oh, I don't know. I think it looks alright if you ask me. But yeah, anyway, what I want is, um, I wanted to have glowstone there, 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 so on, so on, so on. But when you come in and I press on these pressure plates here, it would, oh, I didn't even press on it. Oh, you know, they're staying open for now. Um, it would take this block up with a sticky piston and then another sticky piston would take it away and then it will push the glowstone down. I've done it before, but I don't want to because it kept spawning mobs in here. Um, the best, I think, the best way to install one of them would be on a mushroom farm. Like obviously, unless you make it automatic, then you wouldn't need one. But other than that, I don't. I think I'll just have a regular light source in here. Wait, how much is behind here? Then I don't want to break my redstone. Um. Okay, so here. So it's what I've got one block to work with then. Oh, I suppose I could just connect it up with that because it's all on one T flip flop anyway. So what would look better? Wait, let me just border this up quickly. Do you reckon? Because I think right, I'll do it on this side; it'd be easier. I think what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, oh, for God's sake, gravel. You know, I'm going down here. So the there would have to be an indent in the wall because obviously I can't have a piston show a sticky piston showing here actually wait if I have a yeah 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 okay so if there's a sticky piston there right and then a pi uh, block there let me just mark off so I know whereabouts the piston is um, and then let me just wait oh for god's sake oh grr and then if I put a torch on that why ain't apparent the piston? Is there a piston on that side of that block? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe if I go... Got any dirt? Of course not, because I never come prepared. Oh, you're taking the mick. Okay, right. I'll do here. Um, Redstone. And then a torch. Yep, yeah, right, so... That lowers it, but see what I mean? Like... Um, the piston will end up showing anyway unless I have an out dent of I don't know um, like that going all the way across which I don't particularly want because it just makes less room and it, I'm like in here is already cramped like, I, I'm, I'm not sure I think here has got an alright size to it though but what I'm gonna have to do because it's not the biggest storage room is it so on here I'm gonna have to add ladders going up to uh, a new, another level, but I need to do a lot of resource gathering because pistons are not the most, are not the cheapest things to make. So what I'm gonna have to do here anyway is, if this block ever breaks, gosh, is indent it one more again like that. So the piston will be here, 
and then I'll have the signal here and I'm wasting stone you're gonna bite me in the neck I know piston there and that will hold wait hold on nope sorry my bad my bad piston there which will have that and then there's already blocks there imagine that and then obviously a redstone signal changes that Boop. and I'll be a furnace now I'm not sure how you think of that but um, I can't really think of any other way to have it closer without hiding it with pistons if you guys can make something like that and then post it as a video response then all means do because I'll definitely have to check it out or um, yeah just do that because that does look a little bit too far in because if I make more of them let me see like this it is quite far in I don't know it's like a bit dodgy but what was if I, put, I could put glowstone at the bottom so it doesn't look too dull um, but do you reckon I should keep the same pattern going like the orange and black wool and orange and black wool here but if you don't like it tell me another compromise and I'll try it and if I like it then I'll go with it if not I'll change back obviously but yeah I think so I've got to be working on this for another freaking four hours. I know it's going to take ages. Oh, coal. Oh, well. Blade rods are better than coal. So, I think... Oh, actually, let's just go harvest my wheat farm. I think I've got it working perfectly now. This creates so much lag, look. <laughs> look, it glit, look, it just goes so slow. Like trails. But, um... Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Where you at? Where you at, foal? Um, this obsidian really needs to go. It puts like a downer on everything. Because you come in here, it's like, ugh. Looks so bad. Right, eh. Let me pick all this up. But other than that, I think that my chest room and that is coming along quite nicely. Ah, oh, some of it got stuck, I think. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, yes it did, only two or three pieces I think though, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, none got stuck on that side, so progress, oh yes, but um, I really want to do a, uh, what's it, a four man zombies, I'm not sure when I want to do it, but I would love to do it with you subscribers, I just want to thank you, all, all the subscribers that I've got at the minute, I, um, I'm at 19 at this moment in time of this video, I know for some YouTubers it's like, oh what, I get that in one day, I'm like, but for me, 90 subscribers just makes me happy, you know, I'm getting comments that, like, keep up and all that, and I just want to say thank you, it helps, it gives me motivation, you know, it makes me want to do YouTube videos, it's so fun as well, it helps with a lot of things in regular life, so if you are thinking about doing it, I all means do it, because it helps with your general confidence, just, like, how you speak, you speak more fluidly, um, more confidently in general it's just, it's just it is a really good way to go it's a really good hobby like you come back from a long day of school or work whatever you do or college university and you can just chill out and make videos it's, I, th I think it's awesome you know it's just amazing so but on that good note I am going to leave this episode here make sure to like comment and subscribe because I'm going for my 100 subscriber goal and I'll be extremely happy if I hit that within May, um, sooner the better, but um, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next episode.